from Luna. Hi, I'm Sophia Wang. Hi, my name is William Snyder. And uh, <laughs> we're doing a presentation over peer review for our signature assignment for Competition 1. <laughs> what is peer review? Peer review is seeing the proof reading of an essay from your own perspective. It is also explaining to your peer members on how you see the essay. And it's always important to be kind and honest when peer reviewing an essay. Who should do your peer review? So obviously your peer members, so anyone in your grade, your instructors and your friends, and also brain cues, which many people have been using while taking this course. Why is peer reviewing important? Peer reviewing helps with teamwork and helps us collaborate with other students. Um, it helps review your mistakes and makes you better and makes you better at writing. For me, um, peer reviewing has made me um, has helped me throughout this course and has helped me um, interact with my classmates. Um, it helps you realize the mistakes that you wouldn't realize on your own by getting the help from other students and getting a secondhand um, opinion on your writing. And it helps. It helps you receive constructive criticism. <coughs> and examples of when I peer review is when we have an assignment for this class, for example, this presentation, and the essays that we usually have. Um, how do I peer review? I start off by finding a partner, and then I check to see if, the, if their structure is correct. I start by finding their thesis statement, finding their supporting details, checking their grammar, and check closing statements, and then I give them the review of what they need to work on or what's good about their essays. Techniques to use during peer review. Be kind. The author is looking for constructive criticism. Positivity in your feedback will encourage the author to develop their thoughts and write a lot better than what they once were. Start on a positive note before moving on to helpful criticism. Give constructive comments that the author might use to read and implement to enhance their paper. Give concrete advice. When providing feedback, always be detailed. Your arguments, your examples, and your recommendations for improvement should support your statements that you make. Be respectful in your commentary. Academic work that involves reviewing calls for carefully thought out ana analysis. In addition, include your analysis for directed improvement and other specific cir circumstances. Don't ignore the small details. Reviewers are frequently authorities in their particular fields. However, occasionally they may be an examine a more general issue. Maintain scientific rigor, read critically, and accurately, accurately <coughs> reconstruct the study even if you are not an authority in the field. Some people believe that the peer review process is fundamentally defective and that this is why paper retractions are increasing. The procedure might be saved through if the referee pays close attention to the paper. Some academic websites provide examples of peer evaluations while others provide a phrase structure. Peer evaluations that are rigorous and scientifically correct often precise quality control. Challenges you face during peer review. Time management. The lengthy peer review process that many pay people face is not having their work done in time. Finding the correct peer reviewer for a paper can take some time, but the numerous and extensive qualifications that authors are making take great lengths. Comprehensiveness. According to a Plumblon survey of peer review length, reviewers often write 300 more words of high quality journals compared to other journals, frequently in an effort to impress the editor. However, the length of the reviewer does not always reflect its quality. Contradictory comments. When there are several peer reviewers, conflict Conflicting opinions on the paper result in many comments. An author would find such contradictions perplexing. Consider the comments made on the same work by two same peer reviewers, for instance.